Welcome back to another Roblox video. In this video, I'm on jailbreak again, but this is because an update's come out. So there's an NPC update to do with airdrops. There's some new safe prizes and the trains have been changed again. Um, I think it's only the cargo train, but I'll check the other one. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have a problem here. Maybe I can spawn in a vehicle over here. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely want some weapons. I had a brief look at this update, you know, before this video, but I haven't looked at it much. So, yeah, I want some decent weapons. Probably going to snipe from a distance because, one, I'm good at that, and also that will make me a lot safer these npcs are very deadly i'll have to go and try and find some when an airdrop comes down so do a bunch of npcs they parachute down and then they have different weapons i don't remember exactly which i know one's got the sniper i think one's got the ak-47 one's got the pistol one's got the rifle so basically most of them have fast machine guns, and then there's the pistol and the sniper. And I think there might be a shotgun one. I'm not sure why I'm coming over here. Oh yeah, there is also a um, setting change. I believe it only affects players, but I have just noticed that the trees and stuff are disappearing and reappearing at distances. So I wonder if it will affect that. It does. So it seems that it affects entities, so that would include players, items you can knock over I guess, maybe like a key card on the floor. The purpose of this is so you can turn it down and not render players that are further away. It does seem to be rendering those ones. Maybe it's only showing the like player icon thing and not actually showing the player. Because it would be less laggy to render a player icon like that, just a 2D image, than it would be to render the model. So if we look currently at these wires, um, I can, if you look over the top of this menu, I can turn it up and they appear further away along with all the trees. Looks like cars don't count. Oh, we've got a cargo train coming. Let's go and check that out. Okay, so this seems to be the normal. They're the same type. Okay, so th this time there was no special one. I think that the easiest way to take out the new NPCs is either use the sniper from a distance, but there is a sniper that might be able to shoot you at that distance, so you'll have to be careful. And the other option would be use the shield launcher and the plasma pistol because then they can't hit you and you can hit them. I see a train of some sort, not sure if it's the passenger or cargo train. I think it might be the passenger. It's kind of hard to tell while I'm moving. Yeah, it's the passenger train, but we can check if there's any changes with that. Anything else? There we go. Yeah, passenger sa train seems pretty much the same. My players got into one of those weird walking animations where, you know, it then stays looking rather odd. Yeah, look. I think the passenger train needs to give you a bit more money because it gives you like 1,500, which is pretty much nothing. It is quite easy to hop on, grab some money and then hop out, but then you have to take it to the volcano base and all of that. So, I think it either needs to give you a bit more money, um, or you don't need to take it to the volcano base. Okay, there is a new cargo train coming, so hopefully this one will have a special carriage thing. Okay, this is a new one, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this isn't really any harder this one you just have to get in and then crawl but you will have to jump over the lasers at the end here yeah this one doesn't get you any more money i feel like 2000 might be more fair but because it's a little bit harder you have to like crawl in if you know what you're doing i don't think you can die oh hang on one over here one over here 
parachuting down. Okay, so they look different when parachuting down. So, if you can get there quick enough, it doesn't look like it would be too hard with, like, the shield launcher. Or actually, it might be. Oh my gosh, this is... Yeah, okay. That... Okay, one... Why did my police contract fail with me getting killed as a criminal? But two, shooting from a bit of a distance is probably the best idea. <laughs> they do seem unfairly powerful for, you know, newer players. I'm quite used to going around and killing police, so I feel like I'll be quite good at this. Yeah, they've got bad aim, most of them. I'm not sure what gun they're firing, it's like red lasers. I might see if I can go in now. Oh gosh, it's going to be hard. Yeah, I don't know why all their shots are red. If they keep spawning, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Yeah, there's too many shots to land. Gosh, they are. It's a lot harder to beat these people than an actual police officer. Yeah, I'm trying to find the best spot to land that's at a distance. Because I need to actually be able to see them quite well. I can quite easily kill them, but if they keep spawning, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get it using my shield launch now. The only thing is, I have to hold E. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't really feel like it's possible with one person. I I'll need to find some sort of good strategy for this, because I can get to it. The amount of time you had to hold E, the shield launcher doesn't protect you. Pe people keep spawning and coming and like killing you. They're extremely deadly, so I'm not sure really how you can beat it with one player. I feel like you'd need at least a few players. So yeah, I'm going to try this train. Let's see what train this is. Okay, it is a new one. Okay, it's the same one as before. Yeah, I feel like these airdrops are... Probably now the hardest sort of robbery. <laughs> Trying to save this criminal friend. Oh, I haven't got my shield because I accidentally made a mistake and fired that instead of my gun. Okay, I've saved a criminal. There's one over here. Did the timer run out or something? Yeah, the timer must have ran out. Check for a new type of container thing. I think this one's new. Yeah, this is a new one. Okay. It's fine here. Okay, so the door is there. Well, there is a door there. I'm not sure if that's the only one. That person very almost got me killed. I wonder. Okay, yeah, a shield launcher does not move with the train. Yeah, I think it's a good idea having the whole system based off crawling rather than jumping because jumping's a bit glitchy on the train sometimes. Sometimes you jump and it doesn't think you're on the train for a second and like you move randomly. I don't think the decision of keeping the price exactly the same even with the amount of more effort. Like, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I thought I saw something. Yeah, I did. I'm going to be more careful this time. I'm going to land up here. This is a different crate. Different difficulty. Okay, here comes some weird people. Yeah, the amount of time. This person's definitely going to die. I mean, at this range, it's quite easy to take them out. Because I can just two-shot them with the sniper. Is it after I kill... All three, another one falls. Like, another set of three falls. I'm gonna just go for it. Actually, I'm not gonna just go for it. Okay, I've got my jetpack fueled up. You can see the health bar. Okay. Okay, I'm in my shield launcher. I'm protected temporarily. I need these other criminals to defend me a little. 
come on. Yes, I got it. That one seemed easier, but yeah, you get quite a bit of money from these now. I mean, I got 3,500 from two packets of the money. Yeah, I should have a look at the um, crate thing. So there's some new rims and stuff, no new functional things. So I'm not really going to go over the crate because I don't really know what's in there. But yeah, so I think that's kind of to end today's video. Main differences being the airdrops and the cargo train. To be honest, the cargo train hasn't changed that much. You get the same amount of money and the difficulty isn't that different. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. Bye!